This has been the most popular sewing pattern in our store and we have finally made a full video tutorial on how to make it. I hope you will enjoy it! This top is a beginner level sewing project and it will not take more than 2 hours to make. The style is pretty timeless and it's also such a perfect piece for fall and winter seasons. You can wear it alone or layer up with other garments. It is intended to be almost like the second skin, so if you are having doubts about the size, feel free to choose one or even two sizes larger than you normally would wear. I will be using the tanit long sleeve top pattern which you can find in our Etsy or online store. The links are below in the description. By the way, here I am also wearing the tanit top but this one is in the cropped length. If you don't want this top to be as tight as it is now around your waist, you can freely redraw the side seam. But remember that you need to do this step for both front and back panels. In other words, you need to make sure that the side seams are in the same shape. And after that, simply cut along the new line. For this top you will need stretch jersey fabric which has at least 50% stretch. And it is quite stretchy. A matching thread of course. I will be mostly using a serger, but if you don't have it, don't worry. Check out the description and there you can find a short video that explains which sewing machine stitches you can use instead. And now let's start by cutting out all the pattern pieces. Generally, I recommend to cut from the fabric's wrong side, but I had such an insane pattern matching going on, that's why I folded the fabric with the right side towards outside. Also, don't forget to snip the notches around 3 mm in the fabric. I will additionally make some notches at the middle front neckline and at the middle back neckline. This step will help us later to easier match the details. Finally, it's time to start sewing. Lay the back panel with the front panel right sides facing. Serge or sew both shoulder seams. If you prefer, you can use pins, just be very careful to take them out when you are using a serger. Press both shoulder seams towards the back panel. Now let's prepare the neck panel. Fold it on half with the right sides facing and serge or sew the shortest side seam. I'm so sorry, I accidentally didn't film how I actually sewed that seam. So, if you use the sewing machine, simply press the seam open and then fold the neck panel on half like this and press the folded edge. Lay the neck panels row edges along the top's neckline. I will be matching the neck panel seam with the top's back panel's middle as well as the neck panel's middle with the top's front panel's middle. It is completely normal that the neck panel is actually shorter than the neckline. It is made this way, so the neck panel would nicely fit around your neck. Surge around the neckline while slightly stretching the neck panel. As you can see, the seam we just made is quite all over the place, that's why I recommend to top stitch. Make a seam using a sewing machine, around 3 to 5 mm apart from the previously made seam. It is important to catch the seam allowance. I prefer to work from the right side because I feel in this way it's easier to stitch exactly in parallel with the previously made seam. I will give a light press around the neckline, but do not press the neck panel flat. If you have a cover stitch machine, then you can skip this part. But for the rest of us, I will show a trick how to make the hem look like it's a cover stitch. Take the useful strip and fold it on half, and then match the raw edges with the sleeve panel's hem. 
Third, or sew all three layers together. Do it for both sleeves. And again, from a different perspective, fold the useful strip on half and place it on the sleeve hem and then serge all three layers together. Trim off the excessive part of the strip. In a very similar manner as previously, we should top stitch the previously made seam. So make a stitch 3 to 5 mm apart by catching the seam allowance. Here is the result, and it will be pretty difficult to tell from a distance that it is not a cover stitch. Press both sleeve hems. After that, let's join the sleeves to the top. Lay the sleeves right side with the top's right side. Match the sleeves middle notch with the shoulder seam. Also, match the front notches and the back notches. If you want to, you can lightly press the seam. Lay the top with the right sides facing each other and serge only the left side seam. Start from the sleeves hem and up until the top's hem. And of course, don't forget to match the armhole seams. For the top's hem, let's do the same fake cover stitch trick again. Take the useful strip and fold it on half. Match the raw edges with the top's hem. Stitch all three layers together. And now let's top stitch the previously made seam by catching the seam allowance. Press the hem. While we are here, and because it's so convenient to do it now, we can also press the side seam. Lay the top with the right sides together and serge or sew the right side seam. If you used a serger, I highly recommend to hide the loose threads inside the seams. I will be using a tapestry needle with a big eye. I do not recommend to simply cut off those threads because with time, and especially after washing, the overlock threads will start to unravel and the seam will become undone, so it is very important to secure these seams. Repeat this step with the other sleeve and the top's hand. Give the final press and you have finished! If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more sewing and knitting tutorials. Bye!